my goodness. Are you the cutest little man in the whole wide world? Quick can see what's it say. Oh yeah. I just got done with my workout and I wanted to share some of my pantry favorites with y'all. Like snacks, things that aren't like fresh produce, things that will last a little bit longer, things that you can purchase from my Amazon list, which I have linked. Um, below, but it's also on my website at randacarava.com slash shop dash Amazon. So I'm going to show you a couple of the things. Here we go. First things first is I love sweet candy. And I, so I love smart sweets because I love things like um, Sour Patch Kids, um, Silly Straws, silly, like Gummy Worms, things like that. So my two favorite flavors of the smart sweets, which they also have I think like three or four other flavors that I've had that I do enjoy, just not near as much as these two. Like these two are by far the best that I enjoy the most. And I would say this one is my favorite, favorite, and it is the Sour Blast Buddies. It's the closest to um, Sour Patch Kids. And then this is my very, very, very close second favorite, and it's the Sour Melon Bites. So those are smart sweets, again, linked on my Amazon list. Get my first little pair of cargo pants. Quality time before mom goes to the gym. So that means eight weeks postpartum for mom. And I am building up that street, Tharna buddy. Yeah, and you're building up your talking skills. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I love the Snack Factory pretzels. This flavor is um, everything. It's kind of like everything with the bagel seasoning, if you know that from Trader Joe's. But they also have like a garlic parmesan flavor that's green. Those are my two favorites of that, and you'll see that on my Amazon list. Okay, this is what I enjoy for a substitute instead of a Pop-Tart because it has nine grams of protein, four grams of carbs, less than a gram of sugar, and 170 calories, and it's gluten-free. So you'll see right here the way it compares to like a regular Pop-Tart, and you can see that like if you click it on the Amazon information as well. So I do love these. I do love them warmed up and then spray like a little bit of spray butter on them. Let's keep going. This is my favorite bread, the delightful Sara Lee, only 45 calories. You can do it in whole wheat or honey wheat. Honestly, there's not much difference to me. I just like how low calorie it is, but it still tastes so good and it's so like fresh and soft tasting almost, just like regular bread. Cereal wise, this is my favorite chocolate protein one. It is the High Key chocolate. Now, I do not enjoy the other flavors of the High Key um, cereal, and I do think they're overpriced, even this one is overpriced, but I do enjoy it. And then Magic Spoon, the flavor that I enjoy best is the fruity. The frosted I can do, the other flavors I don't enjoy at all, but this one, the fruity one, I do enjoy. Now, it's not like a true Fruit Loop because the health um, side of it is so much better for you, but for how good it is for you, I do think this flavor is really good. Big stretches. Oh yeah, oh yeah, little buddy. Quest protein chips. These are my all-time favorite flavor, the loaded taco. And then here's to show you like another flavor, the nacho cheese. It is still good. I just really, really, really love this one. And I'll even like make um, nachos, like do like ground beef or ground turkey on top with like all the veggies and um, maybe even add like guacamole or um, low fat sour cream. So it's just a high protein chip and it tastes really, really good. And for 140 calories, it's got 18 grams of protein. So good, you cannot beat that. I wanna show you one day how much you play with your little hands. Yeah, you think it's the funnest thing to watch your little hands move. You know, mom's got the hiccups. You're not doing it now. Okay, protein bar wise, this is my all time favorite one the Fit Crunch. Okay, and it has like caramel, caramel, however you say that. I don't know if it's caramel or caramel. Peanuts, chocolate, 190 calories, 16 grams of protein. What I like about it is some protein bars will be so high in calorie, like 
three, four hundred calories, like a lot of the cookies. Like I do like the Lenny's and Larry's cookies, but they're 400 calories. That's so much. So this is 190 calories, 16 grams of protein. And then I do enjoy this one, the red velvet for protein. This one tastes a little more like it's a protein bar than this one, but it is still really good. 190 calories, 20 grams of protein there. So these are my two favorites and they are linked again on my Amazon. Finally smiled at me. Quickie King. Yeah. He is fixated on you. I know. First time ever. Protein powders, y'all know that my favorite is Ghost. So I love the Chips Ahoy. I love the cereal milk and my all-time favorite, I'm out of it because I use it so much, is the um, peanut butter cereal milk. And you can either get that in regular or vegan. Sometimes I prefer to, to do the vegan just because it is a little, little lower calorie. And I do try to save dairy where I can just to help with my face. So I am not gluten-free, dairy-free by any means, but I do try to watch my dairy. Okay, we are getting ready to take Corey Kingston's two-month-old picks. He's two months old. Okay, another thing I will show y'all is oats overnight. These are great. So you put them, mix them with like an almond milk or some kind of a low calorie milk in the fridge the night before. And they're already all made up for you. This one's green apple cinnamon, this one's mocha dream. And it has 22 grams of protein. Grant loves these as well. And then another high protein snack are these tuna creations. So my favorite flavors would be like sriracha, sweet and spicy, and this one is my all time favorite, Thai chili style. You can tell that I like the spice. But like for instance, this has 90 calories and 14 grams of protein. And they're so easy to pack and just like, if you need more protein, you can eat it regular as a snack all by itself, or you could toss it onto like a salad or add it into like whatever meal you have if you're on the go to get more protein. So I know the Power Fit girls are always sometimes struggling to hit their protein goals when they first start with us. <gasps> Say guess who's two months old today? <sighs> guess who's two months old today? Is it Koi Kingston's? Koi Kingston's Karaba is two months old? <gasps> yeah, say look at me, I am big. Oh yeah, I know my hands and my feet and I'm learning my tongue. Yep, I'm very handsome little man, they say. Oh yeah, that's what everybody says. And I'm two months old. <gasps> Finish up with this, so I love like PB2, mixing it in with water and like sugar-free syrup and I'll use that for like my protein pancakes and um, my French toast. And then y'all know my all-time favorite collagen is the vanilla flavor from Ancient Nutrition. They also have a chocolate one that I do love and enjoy and I have in my pantry, but I really only use it to make brownies. This one I use a lot more like in fruits, um, fruit and yogurt smoothies, fruit and yogurt parfaits, baking, even it's good to mix in with certain specific drinks or smoothies because the vanilla flavor makes it so much better than like the regular collagen that has no flavor. That's just me personally. So I hope you enjoyed kind of seeing some of my pantry faves. Again, they're all linked on my Amazon list, which is randacaraba.com slash shop dash Amazon. I have it below. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy some of these things. Oh, yeah. Actually, I don't want to sing because I don't think people on YouTube appreciate all my singing. But Roy Kingston just took his two-month pictures. And he was a little trooper. He did so good. He got so happy all of a sudden, we turned it around because it was a little touch and go there for a bit. But mom sang and danced and he got happy. Okay, we are loaded up and where are we headed, Grant? Going to get Baby Croy's uh, two month shots. Two month checkup. It's a big one for him and mom's a little, I don't want to be in the room. I'm gonna she's, let, she's nervous to say the least. Yeah, I'm gonna let dad be in there with him but he's in the, obviously the back seat. We got him a little white noise maker, real cheap off Amazon that just clips onto his car seat and he loves it. And it's very peaceful and calming for him. So anyways, we are on the way to his two month appointment. We haven't been to one since he was two weeks old. So it's a big one and he does have to get his shots and hopefully the next 24 hours isn't too, too bad on him. We'll keep y'all updated. And this is where we delivered Baby Croy. I know you don't want to wake up from your mouth. One roll and roll. Yeah, you want your ding ding, don't you? Yeah. I know. But Monkey didn't have it. He said, Yeah, I talked Dad into it. I knew I talked Dad into your ding ding. I want my bottle. Ain't that right? No!
cooking Okay, do your dance. Okay. <clears throat> it's from the Limp Biscuit. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> so you gotta keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> yeah! That's our dance. <laughs> All right, so let's see. We got baby Croy right here because he had his too much shots today. Bucky, stop. Look, Bucky's right here. And mom's spending lots of time with baby to make sure that he feels good after his shots. I love him so much. And I love my mom life with baby Croy. Yeah. Look at you, buddy. My turn to pick up Barbie from school and 99.9999% chance that I am the most extra dog mom they've seen all day. I mean, maybe there's someone a little more extra than me, but I don't know, maybe not in College Station. Okay, but seriously, I have a few minutes before I have to walk in and grab her. Um, we decided to sign Barbie up for the Sit Means Sit Academy. She actually had to come kind of be interviewed, I guess, to make sure that she was a good fit for their school. So it's a three week, um, hands on all day, every day school, like 8.30 to 5.30. Then Grant and I work with her um, 30 minutes in the evening. And then we have a course with them like an hour a week here and then she gets three lessons at our house too because our goal is bulldogs especially barbie being she's only two years old she gets really really excited when people come over and we have a lot of people coming over right now to meet baby croy kingston and so when they come over she gets really excited in the first like five or ten minutes of someone being over it's just not really rational to her and so she's not like really listening or showing her manners she's just so excited so we're trying to work on containing that excitement um, and not having that five or ten minutes of having to put her outside or having to get her off of people or things like that so normally she calms down on her own after five or ten minutes but still it's not a very welcoming greeting if you're being you know hovered over or jumped on by a little bulldog so that's the main thing the other thing is bulldogs can be very hard-headed and stubborn and so we're really trying to work on like her not being the first one to bolt through the door in front of Bucky or in front of other people and just like really having her manners when we walk, having her right by our side rather than her kind of just going all over. So just honing in on some things. And yeah, I think sit means sit is gonna be a great fit for her. This is her second week and her second day of her second week. So we've already mastered sit, place, stay. We're really trying to work on down and more manners. So, and still working on the door situation because again, when a door opens or someone comes in, that's when she's most excited and that's what we're working on. Good girl. Good girl, Barbie. Okay, so here's me and my Barbie girl and she's sitting over there. I told her to sit. And so normally in the car before she'd like to go all over, but look at her just sitting. Like a little angel. Say, I went on a field trip today, didn't you? So yeah, you went on a field trip today, didn't you? Yeah, I'm a good girl. Look at you being a good girl sitting. I'm so proud of you. I'm so, so proud of you. Okay, so mom always wants to remember this view looking down. Yeah, you can have your little hand. But he wants to look at everything. Are you happy right now? Yeah. Looking at everything. I love looking at everything. And I'm so when you're only two months old and you can't really pick out what you wear yet, mom takes advantage and kind of makes us match. How cute is he? Getting chunky. So he's two months old today. Nine pounds, nine ounces. Here, let's show him how big you are, buddy. Let's show him how big you are. Okay, we're on a family walk. Look at this handsome little man. So we have handsome little Crow Kingston hanging out, being pushed by his dad. Look how handsome he is. They are two of a kind. Okay, so we're on a family walk. Family walk. To the new house. Yep. Me, Grant. Y'all saw the babies right here, Koi Kingston. So yeah, we are still trying to get as much quality time relationship-wise, the two of us, right. that we can. You just gotta fit it in where you can. That's right. So tell me about dad life now, week eight. So things are going a lot smoother. He's not crying as much, which is always much appreciated. Uh-huh. Uh, he's starting to laugh and, and have a little personality and kind of 
talk-ish talk, but not really talk, if you know what I mean. Like baby talk, baby yeah. Baby talk, yeah. And tummy time is probably my favorite because he started rolling over at five and a half weeks, and I'm really hoping he's going to be a little athlete. And so, <laughs> But we're going to love him no matter what, well, even if, if he's, he's a, not an if athlete. If he's an athlete, that's fine. I don't that's care. That's right, whatever, whatever he, he is. Wants. But I like sports. I want to play sports. <laughs> but no, it, it's a lot of fun. We're having a good time. He's starting to kind of develop a little personality, and it's just fun to watch him grow. Yeah, at first I was all sad, like watching him grow and change every day. It just happens so fast. But now that he's got so much more of a little personality and he's interacting, and I can tell that Grant likes interacting more with him interacting rather than like the brand new baby stage of like the first two weeks when they just kind of lay there and sleep and barely even open their eyes. So that's where we're at. That's it. And here we are walking to the new house. Got a bunch of rock and stone out front. We've been doing lots of dirt work to get ready for the circle driveway. And lots of trim is happening right now on the inside. Yeah, there's Quickie Sings. Look at you today, buddy. So big and handsome. I love the navy on you. It is so good. <laughs> You are big and strong and courageous, Koi Kingston's. Yes, you are. Yes. Yes. Is Barbie getting in your play space? Is Barbie getting in your play space? Hey, Barbie, no.